Welcome to Cloud QA. In this video you will learn how to register, download the Chrome extension for recording your tests and create your first Cloud QA test. If you have not already done so, create a your new account on Cloud QA registration page. You will get an email to verify your account details. Next. Download the Cloud QA Chrome extension and add it to your Chrome browser. This is a one-time activity. Once you see the extension in your browser you are ready to create your first test. Now, in a new browser tab or window, open the URL you want to start your testing with. Then click on the Chrome extension and enter your login credentials. If successfully logged in, the extension will show you multiple options including Record Automated Test. Click on the record button on the extension. Your extension icon will change to show that it is in recording mode. Now start interacting with your application like you normally would. This could include logging in with valid user ID and password. You can validate a successful login by simply moving the cursor over the element, in this case, hello admin user and use the right click button on the mouse. Click on the assert option under cloud QA. You can continue to interact with your application after the assertion. In this example we will transfer funds from one account to another, and then verify that the transfer was successful. Like earlier, simply move the cursor over the element that shows the successful transfer message. Right click on the mouse and assert. You will notice that we also captured the date and the timestamp as part of this assertion. But we only want to assert on the value, $10,000 in this case. We will now go ahead and stop this recording. Give a name to this test case and save it. We will then make a change to this assertion in the editing mode. Edit test case button will take you to Cloud QA application where you can make any changes needed for this test case. In this scenario, we will edit the assertion which contains the string with $10,000 message. Instead of an exact match, we will pick contains and substitute the entire string with just 10,000. You will notice an is optional toggle on each step of the test case. By default it is switched off for every step. Which means that if a test case fails at any step, it will stop right there. It will not run any subsequent steps. By turning it on for any step, it will ensure that the test will continue to run even if it failed at that step. You even have the option of adding new test step after an existing step. There are over 20 action options to pick from the list. You can add your own JavaScript. This way you can extend your test with custom options very easily. Once you have finished editing your test case, make sure you save it. Now you are ready to run the test by clicking on the execute button. Cloud QA launches a virtual browser to run your tests. You have the option to watch the live progress as the test runs. You will be notified if the test passed or if it failed at any step. Hope you found this video useful in creating your first test. If you have any questions on how to use Cloud QA, please send us an email at info at cloudqa.io.